hello my lovelies. Today we're going to talk about people wanting The Simpsons canceled. Yeah. And this is all over Charlie D'Amelio and other things. So without any further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's jump into it. Roll the intro. <laughs> Also, if you hear like a roaring in the background, it's my fan. My studio gets really hot, I found out, during hot weather since we moved. So, yeah, if you hear like a roar in the background, it's just my fan. Please try to ignore that. So, yeah, people want The Simpsons canceled. And this has been kind of an outcry since um, Disney took over control of The Simpsons when they bought 20th Century Fox. So, I found an article about it, and we're going to go through it together. So, here we go. The Simpsons is a classic animated sitcom that captivated the, little, the late 20th century with more than an accurate caricature of American consumerism and Western society standards. Still, the series has met its demise with Disney's latest direction in the eyes of many fans. With the latest announcement of the show being taken over by TikTokers, fans are begging for Disney to cancel The Simpsons. 33 seasons in, Matt Groening's insane animated cart cartoon creation still seeps, steps into audiences' homes globally. Albeit The Simpsons long hit their prime nearly 20 years ago, the tune-filled sitcom will not end. The Simpsons are downright classic and hilarious, especially with the earliest seasons that dealt with real situations that families and viewers of all ages could can sympathize with. Homer, Marge, Lisa, Maggie, and Bart Simpson are household names and the world is far better because of their hilarious contributions to society. From tantalizing theme park additions to, at Universal's to brain-busting video games that captivated children in the early 2000s, The Simpsons have bettered the world of comedy in numerous ways. Nonetheless, all good things must come to an end, and the Walt Disney Company will not allow it. With the acquisition of 20th Century Studios, The Simpsons called the house mouse its new home, something the series long predicted before Disney purchased 20th Century Fox for over $70 billion. Disney has since merged the beloved Simpsons family with various intellectual properties, most famously the MCU and the Star Wars universe. A recent Sim Simpsons special appeared to depict the legendary character Goofy drunk as he sits with Homer Simpson in Moe's Tavern, causing a low point among the Disney community. Nonetheless, the latest news of the upcoming Simpsons episode featured TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio and it set long longtime viewers and fans over the edge. And it started with this tweet that says, Nicholas Braun will star as co Cousin Greg in this week's episode of The Simpsons, which also includes an appearance from TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio. And then there was a whole lot of backlash about this below the comments. Where people are saying, you know, cancel the show already. This is enough. We don't need TikTokers in this. This is ruining the show. And this is something I've seen ever since Charlie D'Amelio has, you know, gained popularity from TikTok. So I'm not going to read what all these people said because this, this is all just regurgitated stuff I've seen People, every single time Charlie D'Amelio is involved with a project, people always seem to have an issue with it. So I'm just going to read the rest of the article. While The Simpsons seem to have numerous years on cable TV and updated special episodes on Disney+, Plus, the fan base behind the beloved series is dwindling faster than ever. While many still love The Simpsons family, countless viewers look forward to what Disney has planned next for the famous yellow family of Springfield. So that's the end of the article, and now this is something, again, I have seen consistently with anything that Charlie D'Amelio is involved in. It's the same thing that happened at the Met Gala, or the Grammys, or whatever thing that famous TikTokers are invited to. It's always, there's always backlash, and part of me doesn't understand why. Like, Charlie D'Amelio gets a lot of shit. Addison Rae gets a lot of shit. Um, Dixie, her si Charlie's sister, gets a lot of shit. Every single time there's a TikToker, and especially Charlie, because she seems to be, like, the face of TikTok these days, because she is one of the most followed people on the app, if not the most followed. I know she was for a while, but I heard news that somebody else surpassed her. That might just be a rumor. I'm not sure. 
Uh, I just now started posting TikToks again regularly because every single time I get a community guidelines violation, I kind of just stop getting on TikTok for a while in order to not lose my account because I've already lost one account. I don't want to lose another one. But all they do is dance. Like, all they do is dance. And people got mad because Charlie D'Amelio had, like, her Black Lives Matter um, profile picture for, like, three years. And then sh people got so ticked when she changed it. Like, do you expect her to keep the same profile picture forever while some people change their profile picture daily? And I understand she has a big platform, but I don't understand all this hate and backlash every single time Charlie or Dixie or whoever it is gets involved with a project. People instantly have an issue with it. Like, oh, this person doesn't belong here. They're not a real celebrity. They don't belong here. They're just hitting the woes. They're just doing the renegade. They don't belong here. I, I don't understand it personally because they're just kids. Like, when they started blowing up, I think Charlie D'Amelio was like 15 or 16. And I think she just turned 18. I'm not sure. I don't really follow or care about the D'Amelios that much. But it's like every single time they're involved in a project, it seems like everyone has some kind of backlash that they don't belong, that, the, that this thing is ruined for them, that, you know, they don't belong, they shouldn't be here, this thing is ruined for me, get rid of this, you guys are done. I've seen this really specifically when Dixie was going to be going on tour with Big Time Rush, and people instantly were like, well, this band's ruined for me now, why is she here? She doesn't belong. This doesn't make sense. She wasn't popular when you guys were. Bring bring in someone from that time. Which I understand. I understand that, you know, Dixie wasn't, like, famous at the time the Big Time Rush was. But it was kind of a smart move on their point because they're trying to bring someone that's popular now, you know, into their fold. So that way, newer people that follow, you know, Dixie will come and maybe they'll like Big Time Rush's music and bring in the new crowd. But I don't understand this hate involving, like, dancer TikTokers. Like, they dance. Like, that's it. Like, that's all they do is dance. And if they make a singing career or a dancing career or an acting career out of it, why not just judge them off of that, not the fact that they're a TikToker? It's like people that used to do YouTube are famous now and do all kinds of projects. And sometimes the projects are involved with other YouTubers. I've seen this happen with like Fred. You guys remember Fred? He was like an OG YouTuber. He had that high pitched voice and he got movies with Nickelodeon. He got tours, um, appearances on Nickelodeon TV shows and I didn't see that many people having an issue when Fred was all like walking the red carpet and stuff. Fred Fiddlehorn. Hey, it's Fred! Like, I, it's like, I just, I don't understand. Why are we so mad? Like, I understand the part with, like, Goofy being drunk in a tavern. Like, that was a little much. But, like, why? Why do we hate these kids so much to the point where people just want every opportunity or everything that they're involved in is like a death sentence. It's like, now with The Simpsons, oh, D Charlie D'Amelio is involved? <laughs> I'm done watching. I don't want her in this. Like, what has she really done? I understand if this was like Amber Heard or Harvey Weinstein or Josh Duggar in an episode of... Or James Charles in an episode of The Simpsons and people being like, well, now I'm done. You guys are working with these horrible people. I'm not going to watch. But what has these TikTokers really done to deserve that same kind of backlash and hate? I don't see the reason for it. Yeah, all they do is dance. And there are some people that think just because they dance or they sing means that they don't deserve these opportunities. I can see where you're coming from with that. But why have this kind of consistent backlash that should be given to somebody like the people I just mentioned? Like, if they got, like, I don't know, Charles Manson to voice somebody, I just, it just, it, it doesn't make sense to me.
they're kids. First of all, most of them are kids still at this point. And when they did start being TikTokers, they were children, which TikTok is an app mostly for children, although it has become more of a diverse in age and spectrum kind of place. And I love that. I'm, I, I do TikTok myself. I am a cosplayer. Why do you think there's so many props in the background? I've been a TikTok cosplayer for three to four years now. <laughs> I've seen the app change and evolve in that short time, thanks to the, the 2020, if you know what I mean. But I just, I don't understand why people hate these kids so freaking much. Uh, I understand if, like, they, like, what they did with Goofy. But that's what I got for you guys today. What are your opinions? If there is something that Charlie and Dixie have actually done to deserve this kind of hatred, please let me know. I don't want to be that kind of person that's going to defend somebody and not know what's going on really with them. So if they have done something to like that capacity, let me know in the comments and I will fully make a community post in a tweet apologizing. But until then, I just looking at it from my standpoint right now, I just I don't understand. I don't get it. I feel like and honestly, I feel like I thought The Simpsons moved to Disney Plus because the show was canceled a while ago. I thought The Simpsons was canceled a very long time ago. I thought that The Simpsons ended in like 20, 2012, 2013. I thought it ended after the, the movie came out. <laughs> I thought The Simpsons legitimately ended after the movie came out. Because normally when a show gets a movie, that's when the show is supposed to end. In most cases, so I thought The Simpsons ended like eons ago, and when it moved to Disney Plus, they were just kind of making specials and stuff. I didn't know they were actually having like new episodes coming out. So this kind of blindsided me for a second, but yeah, it just seems to be because people are getting on there from TikTok and yeah. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you feel like it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for shits and gigs. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Um, we are so close. We are a little over 50 people away. So if you could hit the subscribe button, I'd be much appreciated. I don't just talk about this kind of stuff. I also talk about books, movies, TV shows, anime, all kinds of random things. That's why the name's The Random Show for a reason. It's random on this corner of the internet. So if you look around the channel, I'm sure you'll find something you like. And plus, you can always change your mind and unsubscribe later. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. I love you all so, 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 so much. Have a great day. And please drink your water during this hot, these hot, hot days. I love you all so much. Bye.